Vladimir Putin's brutal assault on Ukraine and apparent indiscriminate attacks on civilians, now sparking growing allegations of war crimes. Hundreds of civilians have died since the war began. Many in cities under siege, like Mariupol, where the International Committee of the Red Cross describes the situation as apocalyptic. The Biden administration has yet to officially declare those Russian attacks as war crimes. So we took a look at the allegations, the evidence. What is holding the White House back? A warning that some of the images you will see are pretty graphic. An air raid over Chernihiv, killing at least 47 people. Rockets striking the center of Kharkiv. And a preschool in northeastern Ukraine hit with illegal cluster bombs. Ukrainian civilians, including children, increasingly becoming the apparent target of Putin's forces. And as the world watches the death and destruction, allegations of war crimes are growing louder. With President Zelensky warning Russia's leaders, he said you will definitely be prosecuted for complicity in war crimes. The UN reports that at least 636 civilians have already died since Russia invaded, with the true toll sure to be even higher. Even those trying to flee, finding death on the road to safety. With witnesses saying Russian forces are targeting civilians escaping through humanitarian corridors, including this deadly incident in Irpin, outside Kyiv. Under siege, civilians are trapped in Mariupol, where Russia shelled a maternity hospital, killing three people, including a young girl. And now this pregnant woman and her unborn child have died. They shoot to the civil cars that are trying to escape from Mariupol. There is 350,000 people in mousetrap. Russia has denied committing war crimes, instead claiming Ukraine is staging attacks and killing its own people, despite all evidence to the contrary. Under decades of international law, war crimes are defined as intentionally directing attacks at civilian populations or indiscriminately attacking civilians or civilian objects like hospitals, schools and nuclear power plants. The Biden administration supports investigating and documenting potential war crimes, with the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. acknowledging bluntly what the world can see. They constitute war crimes. They are attacks on civilians that cannot be justified by any, um, in, in any way whatsoever. The International Criminal Court has opened up an investigation, responding to requests from 39 countries, including France and the UK, for crimes against humanity and acts of genocide. What we have seen already uh, from Vladimir Putin's regime in, in the use of the munitions, uh, in my view, already fully qualifies as, as, as a war crime. Punishing Putin will be difficult, if not impossible. The International Criminal Court and the UN Security Council can take action against war criminals, but it is up to individual countries to enforce convictions. And Russia, like the US, does not recognize the ICC's authority. Russia can also veto any UN Security Council action. And the Biden administration wants to avoid labeling Putin a war criminal now, to preserve the chance of eventually negotiating with him for an end to the war.